What's up YouTube? My name is the Lazy Tryhard and today I'm going to be starting a tutorial on libgdx which is a fr framework that helps you develop games for the Android, iOS and HTML5 uh, platforms. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up libgdx, how to create a project and how to enable it in the Android emulator which is the platform I'm going to be covering. So uh, let's just get started. First off, you're going to have to go to uh, the libgdx website. So, honestly, I have it already up, but type in libgdx on Google, and it should be uh, the first one to come up. So, I mean, click on it, same thing, bada bing, bada boom. So, you go to Downloads. Now, there's a bunch of different versions, and we really don't want to have to deal with all of them. So, we're going to download the latest one, so just click it and click it again and you should be able to download it on your respected browser now you should get a folder that looks like this actually so just ex there's a button uh, called extract extract files most of you guys should know how to do that and you should poop out this folder which is libgdx now you should get everything in here except the eclipse which for some reason won't delete on me I deleted all the contents um, but you should get all of these different files and you really don't have to know what they mean right now so right now what we're really gonna do uh, is set it up first uh, you're gonna need Eclipse which is a uh, just the application we're gonna be coding in and we can get that uh, after we create the actual projects uh, the Java projects so we're gonna go to create and you're gonna get this panel we're gonna just the the first one is just the name of the game. I'm just gonna call it tutorial. You can call it my first GDX game, uh, whatever you want. The package usually it's uh, company, uh, the your name, and then the name of the project. I'm just gonna say tutorial and keep it common me because I don't really have a uh, company as of now. And then the game class you can just call it whatever you want. It really doesn't matter. And then the destination we're gonna set up our own workspace, and I've already set one up. Uh, that already has the files in it so I'm not gonna create the actual file but just know that I've already done this now we have all five of these uh, different things that we can these platforms we can create for the core project is what we're gonna be coding in uh, Android projects already required the desktop we're gonna click because it's really good for debugging HTML and iOS we're not gonna do for these tutorials you can certainly do HTML uh, there's a couple other things you can download which I can uh, show you in another tutorial uh, but right now we're just gonna keep uh, Android and desktop and then we go to the library selection you're gonna see libgdx is probably red for you so you're gonna have to click either the stable or the nightly uh, download so it's just gonna click on it and it's gonna download and then it should go green for you guys and then finally uh, do this for the universal tween engine and just click stable and then a little file thing should slide over here and saying that it's download uh, so check that and we should be good this is just showing you the overview of what the files are actually creating and go to the generation screen and then hit launch. I'm not going to do it because I already have the files in my workspace. So, uh, yeah, I already have these three, but they should go wherever you assign them. And then you should have these three tutorial files. And we can't do anything with it, uh, in, at least right now, without Eclipse, which is the, uh, I, again, the application we're going to be coding. So go into Google again. If you already have Eclipse, you should be good to go. But uh, just go to eclipse.org, go to downloads, and this will work in either Eclipse Classic or Eclipse IDE for Java EE developers. Uh, Eclipse Classic is going to be a little slower downloading time. It really doesn't matter. Uh, whatever tickles your fancy. So once you have it downloaded, you're going to get this uh, file. I did the longer version. Oh, screw that. Uh, <laughs> I got the bigger version, uh, so I'm just going to extract that. I'm going to put it in the libgdx file, uh, the folder, excuse me, so I don't really have to worry about organization. It's all going to be in one nice folder. You can do the same. You can do whatever you want. Honestly, right now, I'm just trying to procrastinate for time uh, while this is processing. So while that's doing its little thing, we're all set up for uh, the actual thing. We just need Eclipse to finish downloading. So give it a second here. Okay, now uh, we're all done with that. You should have this in your Eclipse folder. Uh, with, again, all you download, click on it. Now we click open Eclipse, and 
we're all going to have the same uh, e Eclipse Classic. And, you know, I mean, there's obviously differences, but we really don't need to worry about it for right now. Now we're going to set up our workspace. Honestly, again, sticking with our theme of keeping it in the same folder, we're going to go to the LibGADX folder and do it in the workspace. So that's just where, gonna, where all our files are going to be saved, stored, uh, all our resources, all that fun stuff that we shouldn't really want to worry about. Now, what you're going to get, you're going to get a blank screen. You're not going to get any of these. So right now I'm just going to uh, delete these. Uh, okay, never mind. I'm not going to delete these. Just for sake. Okay, so again, you're going to have a blank screen, completely blank. I'm going to try to emulate that. Uh, so what you're going to do is you're going to go to File, Import, and you're going to go to the General tab. Click that existing projects into workspace you're going to click that and you're going to go to your workspace root directory directory wherever you saved your tutorial and whatnot and you should have all of these come up click these three uh, click finish and you should have the three uh, tutorials here now uh, all of it, all all of these should uh, be fine, except for the Android, which is fine on mine, but it's not going to be fine on yours. I can almost guarantee it, and this is why. Let me see. Uh, I don't have it. So basically, what we're going to want to have to run this as is an Android application. And right now, all we have is a Java applet and a Java application. It's not a Java application. It's an Android application. So we're going to have to download the Android ADT. Well, um, and to do that, we're going to have to go to file uh, install new software now you're gonna get a screen like this uh, and it's gonna ask for a site well we have to go to that site so I'm gonna create a new tab go to Google uh, ADT bundle actually no 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 go to the excuse me the Google oh my gosh I'm out of it Android ADT bundle that's what we're looking for um, and we're gonna go to that and we're going to go into install Eclipse plugin and I'll have these links in the description you're gonna see this link right here copy this link copy it all the way uh, and then go to add here and you don't really have to have a name name just do location it's gonna pend and then you're gonna click these two uh, the developer tools and the NDK plugin you're gonna hit next and you're gonna have all of these come up and you're just gonna hit next accept and then finish and that's going to install uh, and we just have to wait this one out it's going to ask you to restart and just restart it everything should be fine work lickety split Okay, so you restarted all of it, and you should uh, be good to go. And now I finally get the errors that y'all got, hopefully. Um, wait for it. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to run this. And actually, okay, never mind. It shouldn't be able to run. Um, actually, don't click that. I should be able to uh, try to run it, and it's not going to like me very much. But I'm going to be able to fix that, so... Actually, can I run this? Yeah, you can run it as an Android application, but it's going to give you this error, uh, fail to allocate memory, and you're going to get a bunch of different errors that could potentially happen. F a lot of you are going to get the build path error. So to do to fix that, you're going to go to Android, and you're going to check this. This is the Android 4.22. This is the latest version, and you can download other versions, but for this, we're just going to worry about that. So click that, and then hit OK and now go to window if you don't see these two things these Android SDK manager and Android uh, virtual device manager we're just gonna go to uh, customize perspective I think that is that's right uh, menu visibility uh, no, no no you go to the you stay in toolbar visibility uh, and you're gonna check these two or you're gonna check just this one because we're gonna use that to create the emulator now you're gonna click this uh, wherever you have it, Android Virtual Manager. Now, I have these two already. Uh, I'm just going to get rid of this one and, so I can show you guys. Uh, so you're going to go to New. You're gonna, we're essentially creating the emulator right now. We're going to do the Nexus 7 because I have that tablet. 
Uh, I've actually purchased one and I'm going to use that to debug and whatnot. But for those of you who don't have an Android tablet on hand, this is perfect. And for the RAM, what you're going to want to do is uh, set it to 512 because I got this error because my computer wouldn't allocate enough memory because it's a lazy bum. Um, but I. I mean, you you supercomputer people are not going to really have to worry about that. Now we're going to start this emulator because that we're going to essentially test our application. And this pops up. This is the actual emulator, knowing that it's actually running. Um, and we can just exit out of this. Now, always keep this emulator running because it is a pain to start back up because it's going to take forever. Uh, but in the meantime, I'm going to show you what the default project looks like. And we're just going to see that in the desktop because we don't have to set anything up for the desktop. Uh, you can just run this, just hit the run button, and you're going to see libgdx, uh, just the default. This is the default interface for uh, the program. And we can't really we can ch or we'll change it the ne in the next tutorial but that's just like that's how the default thing is when you open it up now we're gonna go to this one and we're just gonna okay I'm I'll, I'll come back Okay, so the emulator uh, just started up. We shouldn't have to worry about anything else. Uh, it's going to go pretty slow at first, uh, just loading up. So, I mean, we can just click. That's our. T that's kind of like indicating that we touched it. And now we can run the Android application. It's going to install the tutorial on the uh, Android SDK, or the APK, excuse me, which we're going to get all this, and it's going to be awesome. And... Three drum roll, please. Uh oh, I see red, but it doesn't matter because we have it. All right, so it's in landscape mode right now, which is like the default uh, on the manifest. We can change that uh, later, but this just means that the Android's running. If you have any questions, uh, please post them in the comment section. I'll see what I can do. And thank, you, thank you for watching, guys. Uh, this is hopefully going to be the start of a brilliant series and I can't wait to dive into it uh, in the next episode. So thank you for watching. Please rate, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.